Hey guys, quick little intro here. Uh, this whole video was shot on my cell phone, so it's not the best audio. It's kind of an impromptu finish my riff video. Um, I finally got to hang out with my buddy Sam Coulson. I've missed seeing him, I think, two, to, two other times when he came through Ohio on tour. He's with the We Will Rock You musical right now. Uh, make sure you check out his channel, subscribe to it. He has these really, really cool vlogs that he's posting from being on tour, and just when he's home, he posts lots of really cool guitar content in general. So other than that, we do a Finish My Riff, and Sam gives me one of the best bending lessons I've literally ever had. So make sure you stay tuned to that too, because I'm still practicing what, what Sam showed me. But um, that's all on here right now. Sam's one of my favorite players, one of the coolest cats out there. So here's the video, and I will see you all on well, real soon with another video. Bye, guys. Whoop! All right, we're good to go whenever you do. Or do you want to warm up for a minute? No, let's just do it. Let's yeah, do let's it. Rock it and soft. roll. You ready? Ready. Must. Robert's guitar. Ready to rock. <laughs> person we've known each other for a long time and a long time I, I laugh so this was a, this is an impromptu finish my rep so this is Sam Coulson been a huge fan friend for likewise man like I said I love what you do ten, yeah, 10 years maybe yeah yeah a long time never met every yeah. time Sam came through on tour I was out of town or had yeah. something going on so this time I it was think, I think this might be my third time in Ohio on tour yeah so, Third time's the charm. Uh, look at that. It, it, we, we knew it was going to happen. It just had to wait until you were here oh, a third absolutely, time. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. <laughs> is it, okay, make sure it's recording. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is like yeah. every video of mine. I'm like, is it recording? With my, like, yeah. my, uh, my bad eyes. That blinking red light. So Sam already kind of knows the concept of finish my riff. If, you, if you're watching it for the first time, uh, basically, I'll start a riff, and we just trade off. It's not really like a, a lead kind of thing. We're trading rhythms, basically. Yeah. We just kind of feed off of each other. So, That's it, man. Kind of it. If you haven't yet, subscribe to Sam's channel. Linked down below, yo. Thanks, Michael. So, so let's let's get it, man. I don't remember what the the practice riff we had, but it was kind of like a slow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to like switch it. <laughs> I do that. So, you know my Les Paul? Yeah. I've wired it so it's got one volume. Because I'm a strap guy. That's smart. <laughs> That's what I need to do with this. I was even, I was like, oh, I'll switch it so I don't have to hear the buzz. <laughs> so wait, we'll leave this in, but we'll, we'll uh, start that one again. Yeah. Man. Thank you. 
I, that's the, another Zach Wilde stall. I'm like, have you, have you ever seen him do that? Is that the one? He's still playing himself. Yeah, like yeah. Like live, he'll do something where he goes. Um, and I just know, I, I always like the drastic change. That oh, just sounds like yeah, it's falling. Yeah. And then he'd get really high, and he always like. <laughs> <laughs> so it's almost like a fake whammy bar. The man, the legend. Yes, the, the Zach. The yeah, beard. man. Well, thanks. That was that was wicked. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That was that, like I said. It, it's just kind of like fun to riff. Yeah, yeah. Off of each other. I think that's one of my weaknesses, to be honest. I'm I'm definitely a weaker rhythm player. You know. Uh, well, you and Brian May stuff can't be can't be weak <laughs> rhythm to play that stuff. I, I'd say that's a lie. You're lying. <laughs> no, that's wicked. But, um, so usually these videos are just kind of like a jam and chat. And then uh, Sam is on tour right now with the Yeah, I'm, I'm doing uh, the We Will Rock You musical. So I've been, I've been on the road for about three months almost now. Yeah. And uh, it's been the greatest guitar lesson of my life. Uh, as I was saying, Brian May is, is weird because it's, he doesn't really have that, I shouldn't should say he doesn't have the blues background, but it's not like traditional yeah, rock there's, blues. There's, like, there's, there's some stuff thrown in there for sure. And... You know, as, as a blues guy, like... A lot of that diatonic stuff was, was very outside of, of my wheelhouse. Yeah. As it were, you know? Well, I remember learning it, um, like teaching it, like way before, you know, YouTube and all, all that stuff yeah. was a thing, like trying to teach it to people. And I, it was so hard for me to hear because all those harmonies... Yeah, I'm really man. bad, like my yeah. ear's really bad whenever stuff is harmonized. And he'd have like five stacked harmonies oh, on stuff. totally, so. totally. So. We, we, we've got like a two guitar uh, band here, and it's been great because the other guitar player is, is such a great player, and we're doing a lot of, a lot of stuff in harmony. Yeah. And I've never done that before. That's so cool. It's been great. Yeah. And then, um, you have to, well, give me your ultimate vibe. Sam has the best vibrato. <laughs> I, I, I'll put you on the spot and say this, like, of all my favorite players, like, your vibrato, I've, I've always been like, it, 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 we were talking in one of his videos, um, and Sam has really good vlogs as well. From this whole tour, you have to check it out. Like, I love all your stuff. But um, you were the player who made me, for one, I worked on the pentatonic stuff because of watching you, but it was also your vibrato. Thanks, Like, man. from, like, the earliest videos, you've, you've had, and, and I remember my vibrato was really, it's not still not good, but it was... Like really you've, fast. You've got a great vibrato, man, and and uh, like I think we both like a lot of the same guys who are, who are big vibrato players, like yeah. Harry Moore and Zach Wilde and Joe Bonamassa. Yeah, and but it was as I was watching you, I, I realized I was like, man, my, my vibrato was like super fast for a while. I was like, yeah, yeah. like it was like too fast, and I'm like, mm. oh, man, and then you would come in with that big like. <laughs> Like this, this crazy, like, I'm like, I need to work on my vibrato a lot. I've been thinking a little bit about vibrato recently, actually, and uh, vibrato on a bent note, I, I would say that's probably one of the hardest things to, to, to achieve as a guitar player. It is. And I've got, I've got an exercise that I like to like yeah. show people. Maybe your subscribers would, would enjoy this and exercise. And me too. <laughs> uh, because a lot of it is, is knowing where that note is. And it's actually like a Guthrie Govan exercise. Oh, cool. Where, where he, plays, he plays like a little uh, chromatic thing like that. Yeah. So I'm just on the B string and fret 12. Just, just going up like that. And uh, that's the first part of the lick. And the second part is just playing at fret 12 with your ring finger and muting in between guessing where a semitone is, and oh. a little flat, guessing where that whole tone is, and then guessing where the tone and a half, and it's hard or slow, I'm a little better when I'm faster. Right? That's crazy. Ooh, it's really... Oh, <laughs> it's hard, I've never done that before. And uh, even harder than that, the reverse. Okay, I will be working on this. The bending is what, like, what I think one of my weakest areas is staying in pitch. I don't agree. I, don't, I, I think you, you've got a great feel for that stuff. I think I, I get like over anxious for the note, and I end up yeah. trying to bend too much. We all do. Yeah, and, we all you know, do. Too, yeah. too many Jimmy Page like overbend licks that I've tried to steal. So now everything has to be an overbend. But oh, it's, it's a thing, though. Yeah. And, and like you can take that a little further. <laughs> What's that? Two, yeah. two and a half. Uh, that's getting up there. 
Yeah. That's my first little vibrato on I'll, I'll give you a couple that you could yeah, uh, you this can is share great. With, with your subscribers. Uh, I, I think another one is is uh, like like getting from, from the bend to having the vibrato on a bent note. I like to do this thing that yeah. I call bending push-ups. Oh, nice. Okay, so, so if we're in the key of E and we've got this flat seven here, we can... Yeah. But if you... We're both dealing with fluorescent lights in here. Yeah, yeah. I, I keep like trying to run around like, turn my volume off, turn my yeah, volume off. Yeah, these, these, are, these are single coils that I've got in here, so <laughs> they're a bit noisy. But bending push-ups for me is, is like taking that fret 15 on the B string and going one, two, three, four, five, six, oh. seven, eight. And just being accurate and being true yeah. and getting it. Because all a vibrato is is that fast. Yeah. And, and hitting that note every time is what gives you like a controlled vibrato. Yeah, that's really interesting. I, and I always, I always tell people work on vibrato like uh, with unbent notes. Yeah. Like first, to get like, totally. the, yeah, like control the note where you're not going. Because I, yeah, I saw, yeah. I find with a lot of beginners, they bend with their fingers. Right. And it's a use their bigger muscles. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, well, that's actually your. You don't really like use your fingers at all. They're just kind of locked. Yeah, man. And so. like the, the way I approach like a vibrato on an unbent note is sort of like the Stevie Ray esque thing. Where, oh. where like your thumb is sort of like off. I've been working on that just because I think it looks so cool and it sounds really good. Like I, I saw, uh, I didn't know that was a Stevie Ray Vaughan thing. I saw Doug Rappaport do it. Okay, yeah, yeah, he did that too. Yeah, and he, yeah. and he did it, and like, it's funny he did that because I've been like trying to incorporate it, but it it feels so unnatural to not have my thumb on the neck. Sounds great. I always liked the, um, the like the violin, yeah, style was was yeah, one that I, I always liked. Too. Yeah, yeah, man. But um, that's so funny. That bit, that chromatic thing, is crazy. Yeah, that's pitch from uh, the mighty Guthrie Govan. It's a good exercise. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that one from now on. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I, think I, I show that one to all my students. I love it. Yeah, I've never seen it before. And I think my my last thought on on vibrato, like if you're playing on the B string. Mm -hmm. Your two biggest, biggest concerns for noise are the G and the E, either side of them. So I'm, let's see if I can give, give a bit of a close up here. So what I tend to do when I bend the B string, I push the G string up and out of the way so it's not on the fretboard. And that gives you that sustain and, and that, that yeah. control. And, and that's why I like the higher action. Yeah, and that's, I, I played this guitar and um, typically when I, when I play someone else's guitar, the action's super low. And I was like, oh, this is nice. The action's like, yeah, it's 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 pretty high, especially yeah. considering you know um, you do a lot of fast stuff too. So it's, 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 it's pretty high worth, action. It's worth it for me to have the vibrato and, yeah. and struggle a little bit and work a little bit harder on, yeah. on everything else. Uh, but yeah, man, vibrato is like one of my favorite things. Like like as as Paul Gilbert says, it's what you can't do on a piano, right? Yeah. All right. Yep. Phone phone decided that it was it had enough. Couldn't couldn't handle the rock and roll. <laughs> That, that, that vibrato note. Hopefully, I got it. Like, I think that yeah. note killed it. It was. It just couldn't handle it. <laughs> it was too much. It was a big, sustained vibrato. <laughs> Camera's like, yo, I'm out. <laughs> no more. <coughs> and then uh, I have. I have to pick your brain about one more thing. Yeah, man. Anything uh, before uh, the video ends. Picking. Okay. Yeah. So, because you just did. I wish the camera was recording. You just did this crazy. I don't even know what it is. I, the the lick that you did. To me. I'm not sure what I did either, but, but for me, picking is all about efficiency and being as lazy as possible. Yeah. Same with vibrato, actually. It all boils down to getting the most out of the smallest amount of movement. I guess. I, I think I ruined myself early on, because I, I liked guys like George Lynch, whose yeah. hand moved a lot, so I tried to make my hand... Yeah, okay. Like, it looks sweet. And then, like, later, I'm like, yeah, this is, like, really messing up my picking, so I had to, like, backtrack a lot <laughs> to try I'm like... Yes, but you you fan your fingers, don't you? I do, yeah. <laughs> I, sort of think about like that. I do a lot of pentatonic stuff. Um, that's a good lick, just sort of going straight down, like you know, descending twelve. Yeah. See, I do it, but I usually don't pick everything. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, so so, but I'm pulling off, and there, and I smoke it. But it's not all picked. So. That's okay. It's a, it's a, you know, there's, there's more than one way to, yeah. to skin the cat, right? And, and that, that sounds killer the way you're doing it. The way I'm doing it is just a little little different in terms of uh, 
like maybe aggression. I like, I say, I I like the I aggression. Both, both are equally awesome, man. So that, that's one that I do. Like. And I start with the team on, on the on the wound strings a little more. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> Look at the same issue I had earlier. Okay, hold on. I try to angle the pick a, a little bit, you know, just to, to get that that nice, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's streamlined. Yeah. If you think about, if you think about my phone being the string, and if, if my pick is completely parallel like this, it has to really fight, fight. to get over. But if, if you've got the angle, like if it's, you know, a little bit more like that way, so it's not going to be able to pick up on the, on the camera. Camera. Uh, but just having that, 45 degree angle just makes it yeah. a little more lubricated. So yeah. I've been trying to sort of go through each position. Something like that. Yeah, see, I've, al I've always admired your picking. And I think one of my issues is I'm really bad. I, I'm, I'm good at ascending. Mm -hmm. Descending is my, uh, like, I, I sound like a challenge lick. Yeah. A while back. But that was oh, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, ascending. Like, no, 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 no. I, I have no issues. But like descending, I have to start with a pull off. That's fine. And, and it's like my hand can't do it. I can't do the ascending one. I, I, I could not. <laughs> I can rip through that, but. That's way harder for me. It's not as clean. That's um, funny. I'm the exact opposite. Yeah. I, I can ascend, but I can't, like, if I was with the. Just to go through it. Oh man! But the descent, I'm like, there has to be pull-offs involved because my hand can't do it. Well, between us, man, we got it covered. We got a full guitar player here. <laughs> look at this. Look, look. We didn't know this was gonna happen, but we just made a guitar player. Us together and uh, <laughs> perfection. The vibrato, <laughs> boom, hand explosions, yeah. the whole thing. So, dude, thank you so much for hanging out. Man, thank you. Thank yeah. you for coming. I appreciate Robert drove it. an hour to come see me. And uh, man, I'm I'm just happy that you were real. Look at this, I'm real. I can touch you. That's what we did. I'm like, you're real. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but make sure you guys go check out Sam's channel. Um, like I said, all the vlogs and, and you've just been posting a lot in general. Like when you yeah. were obviously when you were home. Yeah, I, I tried. Easier. I tried to do like the YouTube thing and post a few reviews of uh, pickups and amps. And yeah. Stuff. So I've been on the road. So I've been trying to document what it's like being that. on the road with with like a big production. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I post lessons on my channel. Yeah, all, all the stuff that Robert does. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but better. <laughs> no, not at all. Man. Not at all. Awesome. Well, other than that, guys, peace out. Rock and roll. Rock and roll, baby. plays itself. Oh, I guess it's yours now. <laughs> man, these tens feel really loose. Like, Don't this, they? This feels great, yeah. man. Man, yeah, there you have it. Wait, hold up, hold up. And then we'll, we'll finish it off. One of those? Boom. Blow it up. Ooh.